Hello, my name is Ron Weiser and I'm, and I'm the Honorary Life President of the Zionist Council of New South Wales. I'd like to talk to you for a couple of minutes about the BDS campaign, the Boycott, Divestment and Sanction campaign being run against the State of Israel. The main aim of this campaign is to delegitimise the State of Israel, to delegitimise the concept of a Jewish State, and in fact to end the Jewish State. The campaign is based upon a number of premises, it's primarily, primarily that Israel is supposedly an apartheid state. The second premise is that Israel um, should allow the return of the so-called Palestinian refugees, people who are claimed to have uh, been forced out of Israel of its creation. And the third premise is based on so-called occupation and that the Israeli settlements are somehow constitute an element of occupation. I'd just like to briefly address the first two points. Number one, the State of Israel comprises of uh, approximately 80% Jewish citizens and 20% non-Jewish citizens, mainly Muslims and some Christians. Everybody within the State of Israel has the right to vote. Everybody within the State of Israel has the uh, right to have representatives within the Knesset, Israel's parliament. Everybody has rights within the courts, and so on and so forth. All citizens of Israel enjoy equal rights. A very good example uh, that can put the light to apartheid is the recent case of the trial of the ex-president of Israel on uh, charges of sexual misconduct and rape, where the head of the tribunal was Judge George Kara, an Israeli Arab from Jaffa, who found the ex-president the ex -president guilty. Now, this campaign is ironically led by a chap called Omar Baghouti. I say ironically because he himself is a Palestinian who received his doctorate from Tel Aviv University. So he's not even an Israeli citizen, but he was able to come study within the State of Israel uh, and receive his uh, qualifications. Uh, as is the case, not only does Israel uh, treat within its hospitals and uh, its social services Israeli citizens, Jewish and non-Jewish, but even Palestinians uh, from the West Bank and Gaza come every single day into Israel for both medical treatment uh, and for social services. The Boycott, Divestment and Sanction campaign really, as I said, stands as its essence, uh, an attempt to deny the legitimacy of the Jewish state and to destroy the Jewish state. It operates under the cover of uh, pretending or attempting to go for a two-state solution, but in effect this is one state for Palestinians and one state for the Jews who are there and the Palestinians who will return, thereby ending the Jewish majority and thereby creating, in fact, two Palestinian states side by side.